I suppose you have any experience with uh, e-readers, do you? With what, sorry? E-readers? Uh, I... Kind like of do. Kindle? Oh, you do? Oh, I have a, I have a Kindle, yeah. Oh, uh, which one? The paper one? Yeah. Not the newest one, though. It's, uh... I don't know which generation it is. I've had this thing for like a long time. What was your question? No, I just want to know if I need to work on it. Because uh, I've been thinking about getting one. Um, just because I've been sort of buying books lately, so I feel like getting a reader might be a more economical solution yes. instead of you know, accruing a giant library of books. <laughs> I, I I like physical books. Like I bought an e-reader originally. I'm like, oh yeah, technology. I want like a. I didn't buy it because it's a Star Trek pad, but I, I bought it because I like that. Unfortunately, I found myself getting distracted. Like when I'm with a physical book, I find myself less distracted than when I'm reading on e um, That that's me though. Uh, there's advantages to e-reader. Like you said, for instance, you can. Um, What's called store all your books on there so you don't have like a boatload of books. Unless you're that kind of guy that wants a bookshelf with all your books to show them all. <laughs> um, the other advantage too is like, let's say like your books get damaged, when well, an e reader you just give them your e reader and re download your books. Um, with the e reader you can read at night because, and you don't need like a light because it has a backlight, right? So that could be an advantage. Um, I know overseas, I brought physical books, but some guys brought e-readers, and the nice thing about that is they could take a bunch of books with them, right? Yeah. And it wasn't a big deal. Um, what else is there that I like about e-readers? Um, they have built-in dictionaries, so if you're reading something, you're like, what the fuck does this mean? You can like just click on it, and they'll like, tell you the definition or whatever. Um, I do like, so with Amazon for instance, I like that it's integrated with Audible, so for instance if I'm reading something on my e-reader and then I want to listen to a book for a bit, it'll like sync with that. And then also with the Kindle in general, you can sync with different devices, so for instance, let's say you left your e-reader at home, you can continue reading on your phone on the Kindle app, and then when you get home you go back to your e-reader again, if you don't want to carry your e-reader around like everywhere, right? Yeah. See, I find the I find the whole Kindle uh, like I don't know, uh, 
system, like how everything's all sort of located in one spot kind of night. I was thinking about, like I was considering alternatives like Kobo, right? but then like, you know, get the whole Kindle environment. But they're, they're all good. That's the thing, right? Like, I think, I think the problem is once you start buying stuff on one platform, if you care, not everybody will care about this. You can always switch, just means that you can't take your stuff with you, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the other frustrating thing some moms is if you're trying to find some older books that maybe aren't in Kindle format, well, you might be forced to buy the physical, or what I've done is I've Googled some moms and sometimes books are digitized, and you can just load the PDF on your Kindle and then have the Kindle version. It's not quite the same, but it's close enough. Um, what I found myself doing lately is um, I've been listening to audiobooks again. They're more expensive, so that's one of the problems, but um, right now I'm not super busy, so I have time to read, but if I was going to work all the time, I might not feel like reading as much, and I find that when I'm driving places, I'll listen to the books, and I get more content absorbed. But that only works with, uh, I find it only works with, uh, fiction. With non-fiction, it's kind of like I have to sit down and listen because, you know, I actually want to absorb the information. I don't want to just get just to the story, you know what I mean? Yeah. I actually have several audiobooks, because I, I think it was some like, you know, a few months back, like last year. So that'd be kind of, that's kind of nice, actually, the whole integration as well. That's another thing to consider. It is. Keep, keep in mind if you own like I think the Kindle book or the Audible book, you get a discount on the other one. So what I was doing before is when I had Audible, I still do, but I mean, I have a I think the Audible plans got more expensive, and then they only give you one token or something, or maybe it always was expensive. But I don't realize it, but, um, I would buy like the or I would get the Audible book with my credit, and then I'd go on the Kindle and buy the Kindle book at like a really big discount, right? Oh, nice. I think my, um, my mom has uses Kindle, like the Kindle app a lot, and I think she uses like a, she has like some kind of, uh, like subscription almost, where you, like, you, can, you can like own any 10 books at a time, and you can like return and exchange, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's a bunch of different stuff like that, um, I haven't really looked into it too much. But just keep in mind with those that you might, if you're looking for very specific books, they might not be included. At all. What, what I've been thinking about actually doing uh, is I was thinking about like uh, buying some what do you call it, uh, manga on Auto, or was it Kindle? But I know obviously I don't have an extensive library uh, a lot of the time, so I have like I looked into it, and you can also put uh, kind of like PDFs you can convert um, uh, some mangas as well. So I might, I might start writing. So just keep in mind though, Kindle is not really a good platform for manga. Unless no, you're using like the app or something like that. If you're getting just like an e-reader with an e-ink screen, it won't be the same as like actually like reading it. So yeah, I know, I know. But it's kind of like it's kind of like a compromise. Like I said, I don't really want to like I have a bookshelf, but the bookshelf's is only for other stuff. So I don't want to like have to deal with like, a growing collection of books that once I'm done with them. Oh yeah, no, 100%. Like, well, you can always just give it to the book here and you can read this now, but I, I agree with you in the sense of um, books get really heavy. Like, I don't have too many books, but like, I've helped people move and like, they'd have like boxes and boxes of books and it's just like, oh, I like this book anymore, but it's like pounds of shit, like you're hauling around, right? Yeah. It can also be nice um, if you have books that you want to reference. So, for instance, like someone will be like, working on your skin, you're fine to work out, and I don't have the book with me, right? It's a Kindle book, right, obviously, but if I had the physical book, I would have to follow it around with me. But because it's Kindle, I can just like rip it up on my phone and go, like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do, right? <laughs> that's kind of the nice thing, too, about it, and like. Yeah, I, I know people are about the price, it's like, oh, Kindle, it's digital, it should be cheaper, but it's like, no, you're paying for the licensing, right? I'm like, let's stop, not necessarily, like, let's ship those French phone. Honestly, I don't think I've ever really had a problem with the price, because yeah. I, I don't know, I, I tend to see them as fairly cool. cheap enough as they yeah. are. Yeah. What's the other thing? I, I'm waiting for the next Kindle, because I've had this Kindle since, like, 
20. I, I don't even know. But um, I'm waiting for hopefully one that includes USB-C because I don't want the stupid USB. It's like the old micro USB or whatever still. So. Which I want the paperweight? Because uh, like, I was thinking about getting the Oasis because it has the, um, the warm light filter on it. Yeah, so I I want I I think that's one thing that would help me from getting distracted as weird as it sounds, having like a physical button to turn the page. Because I think it's more than it's like it kinda feels like that tactile feel of like turning a, a physical page or something. Maybe that might help, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good point actually. So that's that's kinda what I'm like looking at now. But like I said, I'm waiting till they include like USB C or something. And honestly the um the whole form factor of holding it, like, you know, with the thing on the side is actually looks more appealing than just a regular tablet. So, well, I guess I haven't really looked into it, but the current ones don't have USB-C? I, I, I just assumed that they did. Well, I don't think that they do. It's one of the things that actually people are kind of annoyed about right now, that they didn't upgrade it to USB-C. Yeah, I wonder when the next Kindle slated to release that. Right? Cause like, actually, I don't know, like, the, the Oasis, like, the newer ones came out. Maybe they released another new one. I haven't, like, looked at the recent one. No. Still, it's not USB C yet. So it just came out last year. And the reason why I know that's not USB C is I was looking into uh, this is while I was in Iraq when this one came out, I think. Yeah, so July 29th. Micro USB is not acceptable. Yeah, that's a bummer. Well. Adapter. Like a little micro USB to USB C like thing. I mean, you can use whatever charger you want. Yeah, it's just, you know, like having the USB C would have been kind of convenient. Yeah, I, I don't know why they did that, but whatever. The, the thing, the nice thing, aside from the whole Kindle, uh, and, you know, Kindle, not, ecosystem, I guess that's the right word. Uh, I was considering, like, like I said, the Kobo as well, the Kobo Forma, just because it has a larger screen. I wonder if that one has a USB C. The problem though is that the the Oasis seems to be like spec wise, it seems to be the the, the most powerful. Uh, I looked at some of the alternatives, and they get kind of slow when you're like trying to turn pages and stuff. Mm, depends what you're reading, right? Like, I would yeah. say, yeah, the Kobo has micro USB as well. That's probably why Amazon hasn't updated it either, because it's, all the competition has the same thing, and it's like, what's the point? Yeah, you see that. It's probably also people don't really give a shit. Like, I know people do complain, but like, the vast majority of people probably don't actually care. And when like, you think oh, okay. They don't know the difference, right? Yeah. And when you think about it, e-readers, you don't even really have to charge all that often. <laughs> it's like... Uh, that's a common misconception. Is it? Like, how do so, you charge yours? Well, I don't really use one right now, but like you gotta think like if you're a heavy reader, you actually charge it more often. So I think they they base the time where they say like eight weeks or whatever, but it's on like thirty minutes of reading per day, right? So if you're reading a lot more than that, then you're probably gonna have to charge it a bit more. Oh yeah. Well what I mean like in comparison to like let's say your your fucking or your phone, right? Like Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll charge yeah. it less than the phone. But I mean if it's not like I'm I think they they kinda advertise like deceivingly in that sense like i mean it's not really deceiving because they do say that it's dependent yeah. on your use but i think some people see eight weeks and like oh sweet eight weeks but it's like yeah eight weeks of like like i said 30 minutes per day which is not a lot of reading actually yeah i agree they, they, like I, I see there's like oh it can last up to three months or whatever right? and like have the key keyword there's up to right 
Um, what's it called? Yeah, but look into other e-readers too, because some of them have like colored things. Colored things. So if you're reading manga, that might be more interesting if it has color. Oh, really? I just, well, I kind of assume they all had black and white. I don't know. I think some of them have colored things. Yeah, the only thing is, I don't know how well these ones are. It's just looking at it right now. But then again, I'm not really an e-reader expert. I kind of just went with Amazon, and that was it. <laughs> yeah, I was actually like when I was when I was first uh, considering it, I was just gonna be like, yeah, I'll just get an Amazon, whatever. And I started looking into it a little bit. So the nice thing about Amazon is you get a big library. But I mean, Kobo, I think that's from um, Barnes and Noble, so, isn't it? So I mean, you get a big library from that too. Yeah. I always forget, but they're also Korean, aren't they? Kobo. I don't know. Kobo? I, th I heard Kobo was being good. So. Maybe I'm mistaken. No. I heard someone say it. Is. It is a Canadian company. But you know, it says a Canadian company. It's a. It is headquartered in Toronto, and is a subsidiary of Japanese e-commerce. So it's just kind of like, sure, it's Canadian, but it's a subsidiary of a Japanese company. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> um, one other thing that some people want to do is, since your books are through, let's say, Amazon or like these other companies, if that company was ever to suddenly like go, there's ambiguity on what would happen to your book. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think Amazon's gonna go under, but you know what I mean. It's just one of those things that with like if you own like a physical book, then well, you're always gonna have it as long as you don't get down. I feel like the chances of Amazon going under is like the same as the chances of your books deteriorating all the time. <laughs> it's like. Well, I guess the other thing too is once you've read that book, unless you're gonna revisit it again, you're probably not really gonna care that much. Yeah. So I was thinking about that too. I'm like, oh man, like, I'd just like to have the book put on my shelf and stuff. And I'm like, but I'm never gonna pick it up and read it again. So now I have like an object just sitting there with no use. I've actually bought a lot of my books in. Do you prefer, or do you still like? Well, I, I know you still prefer the hard books, right? Well, it's right now I'm doing audiobooks, but like I think I'm just gonna as soon as like there's an actual like good Kindle e-reader that like like literally it's just USB C. That's all that's holding me back. Because it's like I don't see the point of me buying a Kindle right now because I already own one. You know what I mean? Whereas if I didn't own one, then I'd be like, well, if I want one, then I'm gonna buy one now, right? It's kind of like with my vehicle. I would have, if I owned a car already, I would have waited and waited and waited until I found something that I was like, like I, I like my vehicle. Don't get me wrong, but I would have waited a bit longer to see what the market was doing and stuff. Um, but since I didn't have one, it's just kind of like, well, I need a vehicle, right? So I bought one. Um, same thing with the e-reader, but the opposite. It's like, well, it's already in there, I'm not even buying my time, it's still working, it's like that. And then once, like, something suitable comes along, it's not on. Um, I do think the most probably the best option. Yeah, so far it's been the one that's checked the most boxes for me. I, it w I would prefer it if, again, USB C or if you have like, a bigger screen or something, but... You know, I don't know if those are deal breakers to me. I guess the other thing you should ask yourself too is like if you're gonna take out library books or not, right? Because the Kindle Yeah, I heard Kobo's got a pretty good system with that. It's like overdrive or whatever. Yeah. Well, I think most of the libraries use. 
just... The one thing about the Kobo... There's two things with the Kobo. I was looking at the formula, that's kind of modest. Is one, this is a more minor issue, but one is I heard the, the lighting is a bit uneven on most of the most of them. Um, and the other thing was that, like compared to the Oasis, the, it's just the again the processing power or whatever. Like the Kobo is noticeably slower than the Oasis. I don't know like how much that really matters, like considering like you know if you're reading. How often is it gonna bother you that it's slower? But I feel like it could be like a thing. I'm just wondering, I'm trying to see when I bought this. No, but. Check my Amazon. I was thinking about waiting till Prime Day. This year, and I was like, it's in October, so it's kind of fun. I mean, it could be that my mom bought me my Kindle, I don't remember, but um, let's put it this way I've had it for like quite a long time, it's still working, so. <laughs> I thought I bought my Kindle in the store for some reason. Maybe they were selling it in the store or something. Yeah, maybe. Well, probably not Best Buy, but maybe one of the bookstores somewhere. I don't think Japanese would sell it, but yeah. That could be what it is, though. Maybe I bought it in stores. I don't know. But, like I said, it's still going strong. It's still in good shape. I need to charge, though. Which one's the one where he's like with actual like humans and shit? 
So like side scrollers, like Super Mario World and shit like that. So good. Oh really? The 2D ones were like such puzzles though. Yeah. yeah. Did you finish it? It's a black star. <laughs> it's truthful. said 96 and I was like oh there must be a hundred so like I played this game for hours trying to find the other four places <laughs> yeah they've got magazines and shit remember like they... going to like game facts like people like wrote like up write-ups for like and stuff and shit yeah yeah is it magazine too before it was like a website just gaming magazines in general. There's not, yeah. I don't know, maybe there's not as many anymore. No, think. there's definitely not. I used to have a Nintendo Power subscription. Why? That's not why. It's so, it's so parents can like learn how to play with their kids. Made, like, a lot of money. <laughs> Did you have a lie? I saw him once, but that's only because I killed the guy who killed him.
balls. Wait, so how do you do it? Like, you can spawn something or something to catch yourself? Is that what you were talking about? Oh, so you're trying to grab it quickly. That makes sense. That's a good strategy. I was like, what? Alright, boys. Here we fucking go. Custom. 13. You can kill some people with the air shotgun. Back to the fucking. Back to the usual, boys. <laughs> Yesterday I got two. Which is fucking annoying. 
dying. The last one, I fucking... The last one was unfortunate. I threw a nade at the guy, and he fucking came out and killed me. And, like, somehow Ooh. lived, even though the nade went off right at his feet. That's very unfortunate. Let us yeah. begin. Uh, and then today, I ran one this afternoon, and I come around the corner at RUAF, and there's a scav crouched behind the white building. And he immediately pops me in the face with a shotgun. Like, Classic. It, it didn't even fucking, it didn't even hit my thorax or my arms or anything. Literally buckshot directly to the head. <laughs> And I was like, and it wasn't even like, oh, he fired one shot and he missed and I missed and he, it was like, I saw him and he buckshotted me to the forehead. I was kind of tilted about that. <laughs> because I can't wear a fucking helmet either because it's fucking Yushanka. Dude, Yushanka's good, dude. Yeah, that 10 health points it gives you. Yeah, man. Dude, it warms you here. Ten, 10 health points of fucking class 1. <laughs> So MP153. Yeah, but a 153 is not pump. Oh, a 153 is not pump? No, it's. No, it's. Oh, my God, I didn't know that. I, I thought you were, like, saving money. No. I guess you would save money. Is it a bit cheaper? I don't know. I don't think it's a pain when he when I miss or throw at the first shot it doesn't kill them and I have to he has to pump it and he like pulls it away from his face to pump it. I didn't I got one of my one five three from now on then fuck. Where the fuck am I? Uh, it's not a great spawn. Fucking Rashala's golden TT. Yeah, I think Chilla's the only one that, of all the quests, that guarantees the bot the hill. Everything else is maybe. Instruments key. Chilla. Uh, Rashala's gun. His helmet. Oh, cool heart. Ah. Uh, fucking. Yesterday, Ryan and them watched me come into gun warehouse with a shotgun, camp room, gun box room, and Rashala was in there the whole time. <laughs> and I, when I came out, I could like hear them walking around. It's like. <laughs> What's I do? Hat, hat. 
fire up my computer in the airport Monday morning and tether my phone and download probably like four or five gigs worth of emails and attachments before I got to site. All on my Ah! 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 